This video talks about diffusion and perfusion limited graphs. But before we talk about diffusion perfusion limited, we have to be able to understand how uh, normal ventilation works. Okay, so let's get right into it. So let's orient ourselves with the with the pictures. This is our pulmonary artery. This would be our pulmonary vein. So naturally, this is our right ventricle, this is our left ventricle, and this is our alveolus. So the P the PO2 of the pulmonary artery is about 40. The P big A O2 of the alveolus in a normal lung, obviously, is going to be 100. And the P small PO2 here is also going to be 100. And the P small a O2 is going to be about 95. And I will explain to you why. By the way, the P big A means alveolus and the P small a means arterial. So we have to uh, we have to make that distinction. It's very important to, to know that. So anyways, so when we have deoxygenated blood being carried to the lungs, our oxygen content is about 40. Okay, the deoxygenated blood is going through the pulmonary artery to the lungs, right? Once it gets to the lungs, there is going to be lots of exchange going on. As a result, it's going to equilibrate the oxygen level in the lungs and in the in the capillaries that is passing the lungs is going to be equal, right? So that's why this 40 is going to be 100, right? Because uh, because the alveolar oxygen is 100, so the capillary in the alveolus, uh, passing through the alveolus is also going to be 100. But as soon as this reaches the systemic circulation, there is going to be a little bit of drop from 100 to 95 and the reason for that is because uh, it's reaching uh, blood where there is a little bit more carbon dioxide than the one that's just coming from the lungs as a result there is a little bit of drop usually the drop is about 5 to 10 millimeter mercury not more than that 10 being the lowest uh, region so this is how uh, alveolar ventilation works in a normal state 